Welcome to the Rocking Horse Dreams. Today we are going to take a look at Hansa, designed and illustrated by Michael Schock and produced by Uberplay. The game is for 2-4 players and should play in about 45 or 60 minutes. In the game, players are merchants in the Hanseatic League trying to have the most money and control at the end of the game. Inside the box you get a rule booklet, the game board, a merchant ship pawn, 22 coins, 15 market booths, and a money bag in each of the four player colors. 78 goods markers, 4 1 and 3 barrel markers, and 5 2 barrel markers in each of the 6 goods colors. To set up the game, first remove 2 types of goods if playing with 2 players, or 1 good type if playing with 3 players. Then mix up the goods and place 1 in each of the warehouses in each city, starting with the warehouse marked 1 and ending with 9. Next arrange the remaining goods in 5 roughly equal stacks and place them on the supply spaces on the board. Place the merchant ship at Copenhagen and place the coins near the board. Each player then gets their market booths, money bag tile, and three coins. The money bag tile holds a player's money, and as actions are performed, the appropriate coins come off the tile until the player is done with their turn. Only then should it go to the bank or to the other players as appropriate. Starting with the start player, players take turn placing two market booths in any city except Copenhagen. Then this is done two more times. Players may place market booths in cities where other players have market booths, but may only place in each city once during setup. Each player will have two booths in three different cities. The game is now ready to begin. On a player's turn, first they get an income of three coins. So on one's first turn, they will have six coins, the starting three, and then the first turn income of three. They may then replenish all of the empty warehouses on the board for one coin. If all of the warehouses are empty at the start of their turn, they must replenish them. Replenishment comes from the supply, taking from the first stack until it is depleted, and so on. Replenishment happens in numerical order of the warehouses. Next comes the actions. A player may do any of the combination of the following actions. Move the ship, purchase goods, set up market booths, sell goods, or pass. A player may only perform actions in the city where the ship is, and may only do one action per visit to any city. Ship movement costs one coin to the bank per section of movement. Movement can only take place along and in the direction of the designated routes. To purchase goods, the player pays one coin to take a good from the city's warehouse and may choose which he takes. He then places it face up in front of him. The coin is paid to the player with the market booth majority in that city or to the bank if no players have booths or if there is a tie for majority. If the player doing the purchasing holds majority there, there is no charge for the good. To set up market booths, a player discards a goods marker and places as many booths in the city as barrels are on the marker. A player may have as many market booths in the city as they want, but booths are finite, and if a player has no booths to place, he may not take this action. To sell goods, a player must have at least one market booth in the city and at least two goods markers of the same color. The player then removes one booth from the city and may sell as many goods as they wish, even of different colors, allowing that they sell at least two of each color sold. The sold goods are turned face down in front of the player. Selling does not bring in money, instead these face down markers are used as victory points at the end of the game. Now the other players with market booths in the city where selling happened must discard a good of the color that was sold if they have any. A player may also do nothing on their turn if they so desire. When a player is finished with their turn, they must pay taxes and tolls. At this point, a player may only have three coins and three good markers total. Anything over this must be discarded. Money goes back to the bank and goods are removed from the game. Play continues like this with income replenishment when desired or necessary, buying, setting up booths, and selling until goods markers are taken from the fifth supply space during replenishment. Play continues until the current round is over so that everyone has had an equal number of turns. At this point, victory points are tallied. Players gain one victory point for each unsold good they have, one victory point per sold good, plus an additional point for each barrel on the sold goods. They then get two points for each city where they have market booths remaining, or four points if they have a monopoly of market booths in that city. The player with the most points wins. And that is Hansa. It's a very tight tactical game from a designer I really like. The game is fun in a very calculating way. It's not a stand-up and cheer kind of game, but having a successful turn is always extremely rewarding. The cover and board art are very dry, and it's quite a dry game, but that's okay. 
grab something to wet your palate, and jump into some trading in the Baltic goodness.